is going on, my sexy homo sapiens? Mm, mm, mm. Hit that shit. What is going on, you guys? My what shall we do next again army? Who guys, who, how many of you guys remember that? Who remembers that? Ooh, I just pulled out some eyebrow hairs. Oh my god, oh my god. How many of you guys have been here since like four years ago? When I, oh my god, what is this? What is this? Yeah, how many of you guys have been here since those days where I used to say that, like, call you guys my what shall we do next to army? How many of you guys actually remember that? Let me know in the comment section. Welcome back. I have missed you all, even though it's only been the weekend, but I told you guys I'm coming back, and God damn it, I'm telling the truth, guys. I'm telling the truth. I'm sticking to it this time. I know I, 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 know I let you guys down a lot of times before, but I'm sticking to it this time. For now. <laughs> But yeah, guys, try to ignore my face. I have uh, a little skin irritation right here because this morning I decided to shave, like, uh, shave the cheeks because you got to keep the beard looking good. You don't want to look like a bum. So I got to shave the cheeks, make it nice and smooth here. And then I decided, I noticed I had some, like, blackheads on my nose and on my cheeks. And I had this nose wax kit from, like, months ago where I used it to wax my nose. Never again, by the way. Unless I do it for a video, that'd be pretty fun. But I also noticed that it said you can use this wax to like get blackheads off. It works as like a face mask too. So I was like looking at that today and I was like, yeah, I think I'm going to try that. So I put on this wax on my cheeks and on my nose and it just, it was just, it was just, it was just, it was just. I was like tears running down my face and everything trying to rip these bad boys off. They did not want to let go, man. They were like freaking leeches on my freaking face. I almost ripped my nose off with the one on my nose. Never again. <laughs> but yeah, you guys didn't come here to hear that. You didn't come here to hear that story. But at least now you know. I've just I've just took up a, a small percentage of your brain with some useful information. You're welcome. But for real, guys, I um I wanted to make this video because I have been, and as you guys know, I've been kind of reminiscing about the good old days on YouTube, 2014, when like life was great and everything was perfect, blah, blah, blah. So I've been sitting there watching my own videos lately of me in the past. Like I'm my own favorite YouTuber, guys. Like if somebody asks me who is my favorite YouTuber, is it like, is it not appropriate to say, well, you know, I do enjoy my own videos. But yeah, I've been watching my old videos from back in the day when I was motivated and I was happy and everything like that and uh, depression wasn't taking me by the testicles and swinging me around and slamming me into a friggin' brick wall, okay? But I was way happier back then. I was way more motivated with YouTube. And uh, I guess I just kind of lost the dream. So I'm trying to get that motivation back. I'm trying to get back to the old me, the old the old Mike, the, the Mike, even though I was younger then, but the old younger Mike. But there was one of my videos that I watched, which kind of reminded me of something. It brought back a lot of bad memories and uh, there was this video I made back in like 2014 and it was like called like my top five uh, fears or something like that. Things that I'm afraid of. And um, I did talk about like the usual, you know, shark attack and uh, wolves and stuff like that. Like these are my fears of like ways to die and spiders, of course, like that. I don't, I don't screw around with spiders. Ugh, no, 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 no. But one of the things I did mention and I haven't even, it's like one of my biggest fears I don't know, maybe I've even conquered the fear somehow because I haven't thought about it in years, but I remember it used to bother me a lot. And I think I haven't really thought about it because I haven't really, I haven't really crossed paths with this fear. And I'm gonna talk to you guys specifically about this fear because I genuinely wanna know if anybody else in the world has this. I know there is other people out there because I Googled it back then because um, I knew it wasn't normal. The way I was acting was not normal. Uh, just for, you know, something that seems so silly. Like, it seems really stupid what I'm about to tell you guys. But for me, it has some kind of, like, psychological impact. And it just, it messes me up. I freak out. I get, like, panic attacks from it. And that is, you know when you hear a song, like, there is this, I think back in 2014, the reason I, I came across it a lot back then was because back then everybody was doing, like, conspiracy theories on songs that are played in reverse. Like, if you hear a song that's played backwards... Like you flip the track and play it in reverse, you hear like subliminal messages and all that other stupid crap that people used to say. The thing with me is like, it's not the subliminal message part that scares me. It's the, I don't know what it is, the sound of music being played backwards, the way it's got that like, like the, the beat going backwards has like a very weird sound and it's not disturbing, it's not terrifying, it's nothing bad. 
but for me it used to have this reaction on me like especially if i was listening to it alone that was the worst i would go into some kind of panic attack some kind of freak out i would start to shake and get it get like like i couldn't breathe and i would i would start getting teary eyed and like almost crying over this like it was that bad and it wasn't just any it was like any song not just any specific like song it was any song played in reverse and it i don't know what it was guys but it, it's it's something that i'm assuming i still have wrong with me but i haven't encountered that backwards music in years so i kind of forgot about that fear unless it happens you know so i'm i'm thinking maybe i should do it for a video so you guys can actually see like i mean i don't know whether it'll happen on camera i think because if the camera's rolling i'll know like e everything's okay like the camera's on and people are gonna see this so maybe i won't react the same as i would if i were sitting alone in the middle of the night it does freak me out it's like scary but i it's weird because i don't get scared of ghosts or demons or monsters or nothing like that but for some reason the sound of backwards music kind of makes me feel like it disorientated it freaks me out i don't know i feel like like panic attacks uh, it's the only way i can describe it. it sounds so stupid why am i even doing this to myself i'm making myself sound like a wussy pants but i'm sure somebody out there understands exactly what i'm talking about so if you do like does anybody else have this reaction to like music being played in reverse does it kind of give you like a feeling like you're freaking out or you can't you can't breathe or like you're panicking or something like it's a really weird feeling i can't explain it besides panic attack but i don't know why it would cause a panic attack it's just maybe it is just like because it's disorientating it's confusing like you can hear words but you can't understand what they're saying like i don't know whether it's got some kind of like maybe my brain is just not normal <laughs> i don't know guys i don't know but do, does this ever happen to any of you guys let me know in the comment section like what happens if you listen to backwards music if you've never really thought about it or it's never really like happened to you or you've never even heard backwards music like go on youtube and search like any song and then reversed and it, you will find a song somebody has uploaded a version of the song but reversed and just put headphones in and i i recommend to like really get freaked out by it is like do it at night when you're alone and you're in bed and it's in the dark put your headphones in and listen to a song that's reversed i have no idea what it is i just even when i think about it now it's still kind of like sends a chill up my spine because i can remember like i remember the sound of like i think i even listened to like hannah montana like the best of both worlds i listened to that backwards and even that did it to me like it freaked me out man it messes me up i don't know what it is it's some kind of like i don't know it sends me it sends me delusional but yeah let me know in the comment section does any of you guys have that fear and also let me know for question of the day that's right i'm bringing back question of the day guys do you think i should do it on camera and so you guys can see like how i react i'm not sure if i'll react like i'm not gonna fake it so if i'm not feeling it because the camera's on like maybe that'll be like my cure if the camera's on and stuff maybe that'll cure me but i don't know like i find it very difficult like if i hear backwards music it, it, it does i have a hard time sleeping at night and stuff like it's worse for me it makes me feel uncomfortable like very uncomfortable like worse than watching a horror movie before bed like i can watch a horror movie and go to bed no problem listening to backwards music it sends me crazy guys like i feel weird i feel uncomfortable i feel scared panicky like i don't know what it is it's maybe i'm like getting sucked into another dimension or something with the backwards music but let me know if you would like to see me listen to it like and react to it um i guess that'd be kind of interesting because i'm curious to know if i've overcome that fear or not because it's been years since i've heard a backwards song uh, but let me know in the comment section what you guys think also secret comment codes if you guys have nothing to comment and you don't want to comment let me know what number it says on the view counts what number are you like what number is on the view count when you clicked on this video if you don't want to do that there's a secret comment in the description post that that's the, the comment code post it in the dis in the comment section to show that you watched the video till the end and you found it that's what i used to do back in the day and i'm thinking about bringing back random fact of the day too so you guys can look forward to that if you want but thank you all for watching my what shall we do next the kin family and uh let me know in the comment section also for question of the day what is your biggest fear like what freaks you out and i'm not just talking like spiders or clowns or anything like that but like what is like your unusual fear there's something that's really like unusual and you don't really tell people because it's embarrassing <gasps>
Let me know what you guys uh, fear in the in the comment section. Don't forget to hit the like button, guys, because likes save lives. That is the reason I'm not dead yet, because you guys keep me alive. Every like equals one save a life. Remember that. It's true. It's true what you see on Facebook. If you like that post on Facebook, it's going to be a prayer for someone. It works for me every day, so hit the like button. And hit the dislike button if you want to see me die on camera and you want to see my blood and guts all over the freaking green screen. Thank you guys for watching. I love all of you guys. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys maybe tomorrow because I'm going to try and do videos on the weekdays and like take a break on the weekend. That sounds fair, right? It sounds fair. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time and probably tomorrow. I love you all. Peace out, you little horny bastards. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That was very inappropriate. I'm sorry. Oh my god, Mike said a bad word. Peace out, guys. I love you all. And remember, the most important thing, chase your dreams. I love you all.